guys so today I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial um, and I'm going to be doing it on elf now if you remember I'm just gonna put my hair up so it's not in the way um, but anyway if you remember I did this about a year ago but I ended up having to delete it off of my channel because when I went to edit it um, all sound was gone so I ended up deleting it and never refilming it so I'm refilming it now I have a bunch of new products from them that I want to try so let's get started so first we're gonna prime our face and we're gonna go in with my favorite primer from them and it's the elf hydrating face primer I don't know why I just said elf because literally everything in this video is gonna be elf and I like this because it does really hydrate the skin, but at the same time, it has that silicone feeling, so it's great. I like to press it in around my nose just because... I want it to try to fill in the pores a little bit more, and then just a little bit more for the forehead. And in this video, I'm also going to use as many e.l.f. brushes as I can, because I do have quite a few. So, I'm going to use as many as I possibly can. So yeah, that's that. I think this looks really, really good. Feels good. Looks good. Feels good. Um, also, I did want to point out that a lot of this stuff that I have from e.l.f. is from their studio line, which means it's three or more dollars. Um, but I will include the prices of everything. Um, the primer was six dollars, um, which I'm okay with. It's beautiful. So... Next, I'm going to go in with my HD Lifting Concealer from them. I do this step before my foundation only with this concealer, though. Normally, I do it after foundation because that's the way you're supposed to. But this is quite a bit darker than what my actual skin tone is. But it's the lightest shade. So, I'm going to mix this one and the... Elf under eye concealer and highlighter the concealer side because this concealer doesn't give me any coverage at all but it's in the light and it's a lot lighter than this one but this one gives me co coverage so I kind of just mix them together to get that perfect color so as you can see it's definitely darker And then I'm just going to go in with this one and lighten it up. As you can see, it is much lighter. So it is lightening it up a bit. And I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I do really like the HD Lifting Concealer. I just wish it came in a lighter shade. Maybe I'll check the website and see if it comes in a lighter shade on the website. But in store, this was the lightest shade. But I can still make it work. So yeah. Alrighty, now for my foundation, 
I'm going to be using a current favorite, and that's the e.l.f. Foundation Serum. If I remember correctly, this is also 6 bucks, but I would also recommend the e.l.f. BB Cream, which I believe is $3. <coughs> Don't quote me on that, though. It is very liquidy. Just a fair warning. So because of how liquidy and light coverage it is, I do blend it out with a brush and then go in with my beauty blender afterwards and um, take out any of the streaks that may have been formed because the beauty blender literally just sucks this up. Sucks it up. Does anyone else clean their fingers with their beauty blenders out of curiosity? Alright, so just going in with my Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'm going to buff that in. And like I said, I've been really liking this foundation lately. It makes my skin look so good. I go in closer, see if I need to, and I usually do, but I go in with the beauty blender, and I just make it not streaky looking, to be honest. There we go. That's a lot better. Alrighty, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. HD High Definition Powder, get some powder in the top. I'm going to bake my under eyes with it, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, pick up the powder that way, and just, oh, I don't have enough, hold up. I have found that with this one, if there isn't enough powder, it doesn't work. So you really need to get it in there. There we go. Now, as you can see, it kind of uh, looks like I put baby, baby powder under my eyes. This is translucent. It does not stay on white like this. Baking is pretty much just letting the powder sit on your skin for a long time. <coughs> and yeah, now I'm going to just take my powder brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face with my e.l.f. tone correcting powder. As you can see, I've hit pan. This has been a long time favorite. I love this powder. It really makes my skin feel nice. And I think it works really well with the serum foundation, to be honest. So as you can see, I'm still baking. I'm going to continue baking. I know so far it feels like I haven't used any of my e.l.f. brushes, but don't worry. I'm getting into it now. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. contour palette. Let me know. 
And I'm going to take my e.l.f. contour brush. And I'm going to just go into this shade right here, which, hello, is the contour yeah. shade. I'm going to just contour my face a little bit. Holy crap. I always forget how pigmented this is. Oh, but it's beautiful. And I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques Multitasker brush and blend it out. I feel like it's not really blending out that well today. I don't know why. So I'm just blending. Blending, blending, blending. So as you can see, pretty blended. I just feel like... I'm imagining things. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this color just to help blend it some more. I'm hoping it works. Okay, that's a little bit better my opinion at least. Alrighty, now that I think the face has baked a good amount, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, small tapered brush, and I'm going to take this color and wipe away the bakeage. Sorry, my male guy just came, and I always get freaked out when he comes, always. Um, so that's really going to be it with the contour palette. I'm just going to contour my nose and my lip a little bit, and then I'm going to put it away. Just because I don't use this that much, and I don't like... So I just apply the color with this brush, which is the Elf Professional Eye Crease Brush, because I think it's just the perfect size. And then I take off any extra product from my Elf Contour Brush, and I go in and blend it out. Because I think it's the perfect size for these areas. Like while I was going through 
And if you saw me when I first contoured like this in my chit chat get ready with me for the wedding, my friend's wedding, you know I do this technique a lot with this brush. So how does that look guys? <laughs> and then just one last thing, I am gonna go in with my wet and wild contour brush and contour my chin a little bit. If you hear Kathleen in the background, I'm sorry. I'm, I noticed in one of my other videos how loud the TV was during my filming. So I put it down quite a bit, but I'm not sure if you guys can still hear it or not. So if you can, I do apologize. I'm not trying to ignore you guys or anything. I just need the noise in the background, otherwise I get really, 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 like, Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in with blush and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. blush palette in light. I hope that did not ruin it. Oh good. Phew. And I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. When I practiced this look, I used the dark palette, but it was like crazy. So in attempts to not make this crazy, I'm just going in with the light palette. And again, just gonna blend all this out. <sighs> Dang, I got powder everywhere, guys. There we go. Yeah, I look like a human again. Alright, so we can put that away. Next, I'm going to go and do the eyes because that's just me. I'm going to do my eyeliner, my um, tight line first. All right. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Let's do some bronzer. I do have it here. My golden bronzer by Oaf, like I've said a million times in this video, which I'm sure you guys have caught on by now that this is a one brand tutorial. I mean, it does say it in the title, you know. So I'm just gonna put it up here. And then down here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is with my Real Techniques bronzer brush. Yeah, retractable bronzer brush. And I love this brush for bronzer. I feel like it gives me, pale girl, the perfect dispersion of bronzer. And I drop things. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Um. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go back and use an old trick of using tape on the corners of my eyes. Because I do want to attempt to do liquid eyeliner today. Alright. 
let's get this started. All right, so first things first, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Mad for Matt. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. First things first, I'm going to prime my eyes with the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This is a dollar. And you know what? I haven't been saying any of the prices. So the Golden Bronzer was $3. The Tone Correcting Powder was $3. The High Definition Powder was $6. The Contour Palette was $6. The Blush Palette was $6. I think I'm caught up now. All right. This is a dollar. And it is freaking phenomenal. Like, if you're first getting started out in makeup and you want to start experimenting with primers, but, you know, there's not a lot of good ones at the drugstore. Um, I believe this one, the Wet n Wild one, and the Milani ones are my favorites. Um, but you don't want to buy, like, Urban Decay or anything like that. This is a really good cheap one to buy. So, now I'm going to go in with the Mad for Matte palette, and I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques um, base shadow brush, but I'm just going to use it in the crease. And I'm going to go in with, oh wait, no I'm not. First I'm going to set all that. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild um, large eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go in with the second color, which is kind of pinky, and I'm going to set all of that. I feel like this video is taking forever because I'm like so tired right now. Alright, now I'm going to go in with that and use this fourth shade and put that in my crease. Make it a nice transition. And I'm just going to pile this on. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. crease brush and go into the color right next to it, the third shade in. And I'm going to use that just to deepen up the crease a little. Alrighty, now I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm going to go in and blend all that out. I really do like the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. I think it's very blendable. I think it's really nice. <coughs> it's only ten dollars, and it's very nice trying to find nice matte eyeshadows at the drugstore. So I think it's just great. Now I'm gonna go in with my Elf glitter primer. This is also a dollar. 
because I am going to be going in with the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Primer, which, uh, eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow palette, which is also $10. And I'm just going to do a tiny bit. And this is totally unnecessary with the Prism Eyeshadow Palette. It will stick just on the regular eyeshadow primer, but I like having that extra bazam with it, and I think it just sticks better. So I'm going to take that peach shade, which is the second shade in the palette. This is the um, Sunset Palette, by the way. It's really pretty, and I love this peach shade for my eyes. Um, I'm just taking the sponge tip applicator that comes with it because I think it just applies it better. And I'm going to go back in with my crease brush and blend. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner, which I know I never do, so I'm really nervous. And I'm going in with the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. This is only a dollar, so I'm not expecting it to be the best, but hey, let's try it. Oh god. Oh. Ah. Okay. This this is awful. I'm not an eyeliner person, so I do apologize if this comes out awful, which I think it is. Shape of it, I love the shape of this. It kind of 
scratches my face a little bit. I just don't like the bristles on this. I think this is really annoying. Alright. This is so bad. I'm gonna pause this for a minute while I try to fix this up. Okay, I'm back. In honest opinion, don't buy this. This is crap. Like, it's awful. If you're gonna buy one, get this packaging. It it's very tiny. I was able to get really close. Like on this one, I still have a few spots. But honestly, I don't want to risk fricking it up anymore. So get this one if you want liquid liner and not this one. Which makes me really upset because I also got it in brown. And now, they're going in the trash. Okay. Mascara time. <laughs> Sorry if that was just fucking crazy. I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyelash curler. This was only a dollar. Oh, and by the way, eyeliner in this packaging is also a dollar, so there's no excuse. Alright, and I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara. This is probably the best out of all the e.l.f. mascaras I've gotten. Don't get me wrong, it's still not the best, but it's the best one I've tried so far. Oh shoot, normally I set my face before I put mascara on, but that's okay, I'll make it work. So, like I said, it's better than most of their mascaras. You can't really tell with the freaking eyeliner. But, take my word for it. I used it yesterday and I actually really liked it. So, that tells you many things. Normally with an e.l.f. mascara, I'll wear it for like a video like this and then I'll toss it. This is my second time wearing it. There we go. You can kind of see. Normally, elf mascaras don't do that. Alright? Alright. 
Now I'm going to go in with my highlight in Moonlit Pearls. It's so pretty. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. highlighter brush. Now I will say with their baked highlighters, you have to go in first when you first get them and take off that first layer. Otherwise, you ain't going to get anything. Um, they also have an illuminating palette, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, I'm going to go in with some eyebrow gel, which I have down here. It's a double-sided one from them, and I'm almost out, and it makes me so sad because I do love it. Um, in fact, this is probably going to be my last application with it, but just put it on my eyebrows. Yep, this is the last one, so I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this. I'm going to need backups upon backups, because I love this. It's definitely become a favorite. And then last, but by no means least, lipstick. So I'm just going to go in with this uh, jumbo lip gloss stick in in the nude. It literally just nudes out your lips, but that's okay with me. I think it looks really nice with this look. And what I'm also going to do, actually, I kind of did this yesterday, is I'm adding a little bit of this liquid lipstick in Ruby Slipper. to bring a little bit of like a brownie ready color. And I think it worked really nicely yesterday. See? Cool, so that looks good. And now I'm just going to set everything with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And that's the look. So this is everything from e.l.f. There was a couple things that I would not recommend, like that liquid eyeliner I showed you. And then also this coal eyeliner that I put on my tight line. When I went to fix my wing, this was all along the bottom, so I would not recommend this one either. Other than that, I think e.l.f. is such a great brand. I am sorry this video was so freaking long. We had a lot of difficulties, but that's life. And now you know I'm 100% real with you. It takes me 39 minutes to get ready. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.